hey, hey, people, welcome to Casualty Matters. I'm in the bush right now. I'm going to look for herbs, and in a few, I'll tell you why herbs is a money saving tip and one of the best money saving tips. Not only in terms of money, in terms of health. I'll tell you more about it. For now, follow me as we go looking for herbs. This is a seat, this is London, and I'm right in the middle of it. And look at this. Look at this. Trees are important. And it's so rejuvenating and so nice to walk in this place. It's a different feeling. Nature is important. Let's, let's conserve our own nature. We're going right inside, right deep into the bushes. And I uh, just wanted to say, this place is not just not for minimalists and frugal people like me who save money by looking for herbs. It's also for dog workers. It's for lovers. I don't say that aloud. <laughs> uh, you can come here for a romantic dinner, romantic lunch, whatever you want. People do that actually because in summer it's uh, quite um, the sunlight goes for quite a long time. So you can come for dinner if you want. And it's for joggers. It's for basically people just walking to rejuvenate themselves. It's for so many people. So these woods are used for so, so many reasons. You meet different kinds of point here. So it's not just for herbalists or wannabes like me, but for everyone else. Guys, I've started seeing my herbs around here, but you know what? I won't take anything close to the road because of dirt and dust and all those manner of things. So we're still going deep into the forest. and eat them just the same way we did when we were kids they're quite nice actually and this field is full of berries mm, that's quite sour Blueberries. These are blueberries. Very expensive fruit, by the way, and very rare. And uh, you can also use the leaves for tea. A very good herb too, but I won't be picking that today. You've also seen me eat raspberries and uh, blackberries, which are extremely sweet and nice and expensive too. So money-saving tip. And guys, this is uh, stingy nectar. It's stingy for real. So I'm not going to touch it, but this is a very nutritious um, herb and it's used quite popular actually it's uh found in kenya it's called lai lai in kenya i suppose so you can find this i'm sure in your neighborhood but you have to have gloves because it's stingy for sure Lavender field looking beautiful. It's just been planted, and uh, lavender is a very, very, very important uh, herb. Very good herb, also very rare and very expensive. It is also um, nice to look at. Of course, you see it looks beautiful. You know, this place looks amazing. It's nice to look at. Oh, and it gives fragrances, a lot of perfumes, lavender perfumes. So yes, this is a herb, and I'm in the garden. Yes, that's my chamomile tea. Welcome back, guys. It's time I'm enjoying my tea. You saw me foraging. I've been taught a term called foraging. It means going to look for herbs. 
applies to animals and human beings. New term for you in the process. So anyway, I went foraging for herbs and we went together. You saw what I did, you saw where I went to, you saw how long the walk was and how deep in the bushes it was. So yes, that's the process I go through. But this is money saving tips. Like I said, for you to build wealth, you need income. For you to build wealth, you need to save. There's no way you're gonna build wealth if you're wasteful. But I'm also not saying be cheap. I'm only saying be, be a bit more uh, realistic when it comes to spending money. So I'm enjoying my chamomile after eating a very nice meal. I wish you saw the plate I used to eat today. Um, it's the size of this table, I can tell you for sure. <laughs> so I'm very full right now. I'm enjoying my herbal tea before I go to sleep. I just wanted to talk about the money aspect before I go to sleep. You save money in very different ways when you do your own herbs, like I did mine. One is of course you don't go and buy the herbal teas because they are very expensive. So in that sense you're saving money. Instead of going to buy them, you get it from nature. And that's actually is more beneficial to you uh, as a person. Number two, you are saving money on health. You reduce the number of visits to the doctors. You reduce the number of uh, visits to the pharmacists and ensure that you're healthy for a long long time so this is another way of saving money by using your own herbs and i told you about wages too actually we did get some wages today so you can have the herbs and you can also cook them and eat them as wages very amazing so for those who may want to know how to know about herbs, because i know sometimes young people are wondering where the hell do you begin from how do you get to know these herbs Personally, I didn't know so much about them. I knew about a uh, few herbs that my mom used when I was young, but not so many. But I've learned in the process, I've gone out there and seek information. You don't have to go reading books actually when it comes to herbs. Speak to people, be open, speak to the old people in the village. Right now when I go to the village, I speak to my grandma, I ask her about all these herbs and what they do. Besides that, technology is here with us. There's something called Google Lens. So you can use Google Lens to try and identify the different hubs to show you. And I'm sure there are other apps too you can use. So basically speak to people and they are herbalists. They're actually very young people are herbalists who have a lot of knowledge. Nowadays, social media is just an open field. You can get knowledge. You just need to know the right place to get it. There are very young people who know so much about hubs and that's a great source for your hubs too. So next time, I will definitely show you how to make this tea because today you went with me to the woods but I didn't show you how to make the tea. So next time I'm going to show you how to make these different types of herbal teas so that uh, you can make them on your own and you don't have to go consulting someone you may not know. Please subscribe for more of these videos. I'm going to be coming up with a lot of money saving tips, very practical, very efficient and very applicable. Stay tuned.